All right, so let's just get started. But I love the glasses so much that I said that I will just get these because nests of them and the show these are these pink Dior <laughs> I was looking at the biggie shades the shades everyone gets that biggie used to wear but I somehow decided to get these instead hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Shapura and on this channel we talk about everything that makes me feel beautiful which is usually fashion beauty and lifestyle and today finally we have my designer sunglasses collection. I'm just gonna get into it and show you my designer sunglasses and then I'm gonna show you my more affordable sunglasses at the end. Um, not all of them. <laughs> all right, so let's just get started. Got, these are the next pair that I got. They are burgundy, um, but again, you can wear it with more than just burgundy. They are square and oversized and a neutral. These do block the sun. <laughs> They do, so that's good. Um, and yeah, these are lightweight. The lens is gradient. And yeah, these are just a classic pair of burgundy sunglasses when you don't want to wear black um, because sometimes black does kind of bring it down. But these are good. Gucci. Speaking of black, Gucci, and oversized, I got these super classic um, Gucci oversized uh, gl uh, glasses with the GGs on the side. These are like... Don't, don't bother me shades. I was out all last night. I don't have time for your foolishness. This is just how I have to look right now. Just don't talk to me. <laughs> so these are classic. They're oversized. They're very, very oversized in my opinion. And they have the GG logos on the side. They're just classic when you don't want to think about it. In fact, if you were to buy one pair of sunglasses, I don't know how you would do that. <laughs> but if you were to buy one pair of sunglasses, I would buy these because you really can't go wrong with them. They are different colorways to this. They are some different ones that have a faded lens, which I wish, I kind of wish I would have got, but that's okay too, because these are just what you need sometimes. Um, so yeah, these are the classic Gucci sunglasses that I adore. If you have been following me and watching my hauls, you saw that I got these a while ago. Again, classic oversized, which is my favorite thing because they're easy to do. These do block a little bit of the sun. They're oversized, but not too oversized. Clean, chic, classic. They do give off a different vibe than the ones I just showed you because these are lighters. Um, I believe these are from Nordstrom Rack. If they're still there, I will put them in the description box. All right, so this next pair I am so proud of because they were on, or they are, I still believe, on the Gucci website for over $400. And somehow Nordstrom Rack found, found them. So I found these for more than half off, okay? And I'm just so excited to have them. Because I don't know I would have spent that much. I might have. I don't, I don't know on that. But you guys have seen these. I hope I could find them again if you love them. Oversized, classic. These are my gold two the other gucci sunglasses are a little heavier on the face and i don't mean weight i mean visually these are very visually light on the face and just perfect there's i have no complaints about this other than um i wouldn't have wouldn't want have to pay what they the price that they are on the website i'm glad that i was able to find them on sale and hopefully i'll be able to find that for you as well these are good they have a little gucci right here on the side not too much just a little bit and yeah all black right they're all black yes the the rims the rim is black but on the side is gold these are definitely one of my favorites because they're just so easy to wear okay and my last pair of gucci sunglasses are a little different these are also burgundy and i got these because they were on a good price <laughs> they were a good price and i recently had gotten a burgundy coat that I, I had an outfit in mind for it was kind of a lot though so i, so I decided against it but again oversized and kind of a neutral. If you're the kind of person that thinks that black is too harsh on your complexion, why not try brown or burgundy? These are just, again, they're classic. Like you, you can't, you really can't go wrong with them. You really can't. I got them, did not pay full price for these. These are also from Nordstrom Rack or Saks Off Fifth. 
those are my go-to guys as far as when I don't want to pay full price for some sunglasses those are my go-to's even sometimes Farfetch you can get a really good price on Farfetch but um, not not like Nordstrom rack prices but you can still get a good price but yes these are a good um, new semi-neutral without being black or brown <sighs> okay so that was all my Gucci I want to show you my Karen Walker sunglasses. Ooh, actually guys, I forgot to show you two more designer, <laughs> two more designer sunglasses. These are Max Mara, I got them for a really good price. I believe Saks off fifth. You guys have seen me wear these if you follow me. These, oversized, brown, really, really easy to wear. And then, because I'm a crazy person, I got them in a darker color, which is also just amazing and easy to wear as well. So yeah, Max Mara. I'll leave them in the description box. Um, I, hopefully I can find them. All right, so let's start with Karen Walker. I have four to show you really quickly. If you are um, a fashion gal and been following vlogs for years and years, you remember these cat eye sunglasses. When I'm telling you, you guys, that everybody had these, psh, if you had these, you were saying something, okay? These are really good quality. I do not plan on ever getting rid of these. These are like my first pair of sunglasses, um, first pair of my ex uh, expensive sunglasses. And though I don't see myself wearing these every day, I might pull them out from time to time, you know? Um, yeah, this, the, the Extreme Cat Eye is just, I love these. <laughs> I think I still love these. I don't wear them um, right now as much because I have so many other pair. And also, that this is not really the vibe right now, but also who cares because I like them. And now that I've put them on my face, I feel like I want to wear them, like, maybe today or something. So yes, Karen Walker. My first ever pair of Karen Walker and expensive sunglasses. So after I found those Karen Walker sunglasses and I thought I was a big deal, I started to look at other Karen Walker sunglasses and I found these. Um, I don't remember the name of them, guys. I wish I did. But they are a little crooked now, which makes me very, very sad. But I hope you can see them. But again, this is where my love affair of being able to see my eyes really, really started. I love these. I love these too. They're not oversized, but they are easy to wear despite the fact that they have this tortoise shell. I believe they did or do still come in um, black, but they add just a little something. And yeah, this is my second pair. So then I got these in black. Um, which are not, again, not oversized at all, but very, very easy to wear. A slight cat eye, you can see through my lens a little bit, which means you can see my eyes. I might, should I wear these today? I was, but yes, I love these. I thought I was really doing it when I had these. And my most recent pair of Karen Walker sunglasses, you guys saw I wore it in this vlog. I'll put it up here. And um, I was like, yeah, these are a lot. But you guys were like, yeah, I like a lot. So um, it was nice to see that other people love a bit of extra nest in their sunglasses as well. So these are my newest pair from Bloomingdale's. They are very different than the other ones style-wise, but they all have this tortoise shell, which I just kind of gravitated towards with Karen Walker, except Walker, Lord have mercy, we're a New Yorker. Karen Walker, <laughs> except for the black pair, but the other ones are um, tortoise shell. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get into some of my more affordable sunglasses. I cannot show you all of them because I'm sure this video is already super long right now, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. So actually, guys, I showed you this in my favorites video. These are from Forever 21. They were maybe, maybe seven dollars i don't remember There's no definitely no more for 10 than 10. this gradient lens is what makes these sunglasses so so cool i'm shocked that they are that they did the gradient so well and that they're so cheap now do they feel cheap yeah they do but again who cares if you're just going for a look some people are really not good with their sunglasses so if you're like I don't want to spend that much on sunglasses because I lose them, I break them. I am stickler for my sunglasses. I don't play. I know where they are all the time. I, like, I'm really big about my sunglasses. Um, but yeah, these are really, really good. And for such a good price, yeah, they're, they're completely worth it. Another pair that I got that are, are old though, and they are um, very, very affordable, but there are so many dupes out there. I got these from Urban Outfitters years ago. Um, and again, you can see through them. They are 
oversized and just a little something. Do they block the sun? No, y'all stop asking me that now. No, they don't. <laughs> but they give off a vibe and I really, really love this vibe if you ever noticed. I really love that like it's either really chic and like sleek or like an oversized kind of 70s look. And these are what I call an oversized kind of 70s look. Now I've showed you guys these before. These are from Diff. And if you follow my community page, you saw that they were having a sale. These are good quality and they're not cheap, cheap like uh, Forever 21, but they're not super expensive like my Gucci ones. The fade on this from the black to the brown is just, what? like why why though these are so good and affordable and very easy to wear and just they're just beautiful guys they really really are. I do know that they come in other colors so if this is not your thing please look at the other colors they're just they're good they're really really good right so if you are looking for some oversized black sunglasses but the Gucci ones are um, not something that you want to spend I talk about these often these are my V Y E sunglasses again they are affordable um, and they are amazing quality they are dark you cannot see my eyes these are perfect when you got to get up in the morning run to you know Starbucks or the bodega or if you have kids dropping off your kids this is perfect I also got them in the brown color because I'm a mad woman and once I like something I need them in both colors um, and these are I feel like they're a good vacation vibe right so yeah I got them in both colors I'll link them below oh really quickly you guys I got these from diff too the same type of vibe I hope they still have them they are affordable really cute um, and just bring up uh, like an elevated look like very very easily okay so I actually have a pair of she in glasses that are a dupe of the Celine glasses that I got and I got them in white and these are something that I would probably wear on vacation. They are a lot. <laughs> I feel like the real version of these, um, the white is a little more wearable. Um, I don't think these aren't wearable, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm aware, especially on vacation. But these are the dupe to the earlier Celine glasses that I showed you and I got them from Shein. You guys, if, again, if you're not trying to spend a lot of money on sunglasses, go to Shein. Shein's another good place for very dupable sunglasses. In fact, I was really looking and I see that a lot of these glasses that I have are duped on Shein. So yeah, these are something that I would definitely wear on vacation. Again, with my Tom Ford Soda Blanc uh, fragrance and my little uh, oil. Yeah, that would totally be a vibe, right? And the last two I want to show you are not really my vibe. I bought them in hopes of trying to um, style them differently, but they, they're, they're gorgeous. They just don't go with my aesthetic. So these are from Jezzy, who I've been following for a while, and I think she's amazing. And she made these sunglasses, you guys, they are such good quality. I kind of wished that I got the other um, styles that she had, and I still might if she has them. But these are, um, like I said, not really my zhuzh, if you will, but the, the quality on them is bananas. I'm probably going to sell them on my Poshmark. I got this color really good quality and they're nice and tight they're not gonna fall off and I got the lighter color yeah these are not bad they're not bad at all maybe I could work them I keep talking about vacation because like you know I need a vacation maybe they are workable for my vibe on vacation I don't know yet I don't know yet <laughs> but yes I haven't worn them which says to me that is not something that um, I love guys for right now that's it I have so many more I have some key sunglasses I have more forever 21 sunglasses but this video is so long and I just I can't I don't want to bore the mess out of you that's it but anyway thank you so much for watching I will put as many links in the description box as I can if you have a place where you get your sunglasses that I didn't mention Joma shop Rulala Nordstrom Rack, of course, the high-end Saks Fifth Avenues and all that, Shein's, um, um, Forever 21, tell me. Not that I need any place else, but I would love to know. So anyway, guys, that's it. 
<laughs> that's all I could show you. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.